Angelina Jolie is overseeing the language and music lessons of her six kids as they are homeschooled in their dollars 24 m mansion. Angelina Jolie is overseeing the education of her children Maddox, 16, Pax, 14, Zahora, 12, Shiloh, 11, and twins Vivian and Knox, ages 9. On Wednesday people reported the 42-year-old beauty has the kids homeschooled inside their new dollars 24 m mansion in Los Feliz, California. They are learning all the basics like reading and arithmetic, but are also taking on languages classes and learning musical instruments. And they don't all speak the same languages. In 2016 she told BBC, all the kids are learning different languages. I asked them what languages they wanted to learn and she is learning Khmer, which is the Cambodian language. Pax is focusing on Vietnamese, Mad has taken to German and Russian, Z is speaking French, Vivian really wanted to learn Arabic, and Knox is learning sign language. The people source added, they have tutors for all kinds of subjects, including different languages and instruments. The kids are also very physically active. They like soccer and love skateboarding, and also take self-defense classes, said the source. Her ex, Brad Pitt, sees the kids on the weekends, which he treasures, the source noted. The allied actor lives only 10 minutes away from his family. At a screening of first they killed my father in early December, she told people, it bothered me how little I was taught in school. I'd worry about my children's education. I homoschool partially because they are from around the world and it's very, I didn't want them to have the same education I had when it came to Vietnam or Cambodia. As far as how Jolie spends her time, the source added that she is very focused on the kids. Angelina is busy with everything she is doing including being a super mom to her kids. But she is doing fine and working with Brad on ways to continue their lives so everyone is happy. The divorce is not yet finalized, but it is moving forward. This iron has been working out time for him to be with the kids, which he treasures. The process has been difficult for him, said a source. But he is okay and remains committed to his family. It was added that he is dated already but she has not it seems. On Friday Angie took some of her kids to the Bank So Cold, the Requiem for Cambodia at Pambuakland Academy of Music event in New York City. She was joined by daughter Shiloh and son Maddox. The brunette bombshell wore a clever beige trench coat over a white top and dark slacks with her long locks worn down. The star appeared completely wrinkle-free as she wore minimal makeup. She posed with author of First They Killed My Father Lao Gun as well as designer Irithi Pan and composer Kim Sophie. Later the Salt Star was joined by executive producer, Buakland Academy of Music Joseph V. Malillo, president, Buakland Academy of Music Katie Clark, and executive director, Cambodian Living Arts, Flo and Prim. Maddox apparently stayed home to take care of Vivian who had a tummy ache, according to a source with People. Earlier on Saturday they hit a screening of Star Wars, The Last Jedi in Manhattan. The actress-director lived up to her fashionista image, donning a wintry ensemble of a textured wrap dress with a tan belt with heeled black boots. The beauty accessorized with black sunglasses with a black leather handbag with metallic buttons. She was impeccably made up with her dark brown locks slightly parted to the left as she walked with her quartet of kids, who were bundled up amid the frosty conditions. The family seems to be in a great mood as they made their way through the city. They were coming off the big night in the Big Apple Friday, where they visited Cipriani Wall Street for the 2017 United Nations Correspondents Association Awards, where Angelina accepted the honors for 2017 UNCA Global Citizen of the Year. The Academy Award-winning actress, accepting her honors, said that people have an obligation to envision themselves in the struggles of others and fight their fight for human rights and freedom as your fight, according to people.